Hello everyone, welcome to Nesso Academy. In the previous lecture, we understood how to initialize variables in C++ and we have also understood different ways to initialize variables in C++. Now we are in this lecture and the name of this lecture is Constant Variables in C++. In this lecture, we will understand what are constant variables and how they are different from normal variables in C++. So without any further delay, let's get started with this lecture and let's see what are the topics. The first topic of this lecture is introduction to constants. First, I will introduce you to constants. This means I will explain what a constant is and what are the different types of constants we have. Then we will move to the next topic where we will understand constant variables in great details. Then in the third topic, we will understand why we need constant variables. And finally, we will understand important points about constant variables. So there are a total of four topics in this lecture. Let's get started with the first topic that is introduction to constants. So what is a constant in C++? A constant is a fixed value in C++ which cannot be changed. There are two different types of constants in C++. We have named constants and literal constants. A named constant is a constant which receives a value and a name. So it has a name and a fixed value. And literal constant is just a fixed value which we can use in our code. So named constant has a name and a fixed value. Literal constant is just a fixed value which we can directly use in the code. We have three different types of named constants. The first one is constant variables, then we have macros, and then we have enumerated constants. Our focus on this lecture will be this type of named constant, which is constant variables. We will understand what a constant variable is and we will understand concepts based on this type of named constant. Later, we will understand macros, enumerated constants, and literal constants. So now, we know exactly what a constant is and what are its types. We are done with the first topic, that is introduction to constants. Now let's move to the second topic where we will understand constant variables in details. So, what is a constant variable? A constant variable is a variable whose value cannot be changed. It is a special type of variable whose value cannot be changed. We know what a variable is. A variable is something which has the ability to change its value. We can change the value of a variable if we want to. But, Constant variable is a special type of variable whose value cannot be changed. I hope this idea is clear to you and I hope it is clear to you how it is different from a normal variable. Now let's see the syntax of the constant variable. This is the syntax we can follow. First, we can specify the const keyword. Then after providing the space, we can provide the data type of the constant variable. Then after a space, we can provide the constant name. And then finally, we end the statement with semicolon. This is not the only way to define a constant variable. We have this way also. If we want, we can specify the const keyword after the data type. This is also possible, but this is not the recommended way to define a constant variable. The recommended or the conventional way of defining the constant variable is this one. This is what I have written here. This is the conventional way of defining the constant variable. First, the const keyword comes, then the data type, and then the name of the constant. I hope this idea is clear to you. Now let's see through an example how to define a constant variable. Here, in this program, I have included the iostream header file because I want to use cout in this program. cout is available in this header file, therefore it is important to include this header file in the program. 
Here I have defined this main function. We know main function is the entry point of the C++ program. In this main function, I have defined this variable pi, which is not the normal variable. This is the constant variable because here I have followed the same syntax of the constant variable. First, I have provided the const keyword. Then after this, I have provided the data type. In this case, the data type is double. This means this variable can hold a double value or a decimal value. Then after this, I have provided the name of the constant, which is pi. You can see this. This is the name of the constant pi. And then I have initialized this variable pi through list initialization. In the previous lecture, we learned what is list initialization and how it is useful to initialize a specific variable. We also learned that list initialization is the preferred way of initialization. Here, I have used braces and within these braces, I have provided this value 3.14159. So, this variable has been initialized to 3.14159. Now, one thing that I would like to emphasize on is that it is important to initialize a constant variable. A constant variable must be initialized. We cannot use this constant variable without initializing it. I hope this idea is clear to you. I have initialized this constant variable. And here, with the help of cout, I am trying to print the value of this constant variable, which is pi. Now, when we execute this program, we will get this output 3.14159. We are getting this output because pi is holding this value 3.14159. I hope it is clear to you. Please remember that for naming this constant variable, I am following this convention. This is the uppercase with underscores convention. I am using this convention for a constant variable. Now what happens if we try to assign a new value to this variable? Let's say, I am trying to assign this value 3.14159265, which is more precise than this value. This assignment is not allowed because this is the constant variable. As I have already mentioned this, a constant variable is a special type of variable whose value cannot be changed in the code. Once it is initialized, we cannot change its value later in the code. Here I am trying to change the value of this variable which is not allowed. Therefore, we will get error from the compiler. I hope this idea is clear to you. So with this we have learned what are constant variables, what is the syntax that we can follow to define constant variables and with the example we have learned how to define a constant variable. So with this, we are done with the second topic also, that is constant variables. Now let's move to the third topic where we will understand why we need constant variables. So why we need constant variables? We just learned what are constant variables, but the main question is, if we have normal variables, then why do we need constant variables? There are a couple of reasons we need to know why we need constant variables. The first reason is, it makes code readable. Instead of using 3.14159 directly in the code, if we use the name pi, then it makes the code more readable because we humans get names quite easily compared to the constants like 3.14159. So, to make the code more readable, we can use constant variables. The second reason is, it avoids accidental changes in the code. We do not want to change the value of pi later in the code because the value of pi is same. We cannot change it because it is the fixed value. Pi has the value 3.14159. We may not want to change this later in the code for this purpose, it is better to define it as the constant variable. I hope this idea is also clear to you. To avoid accidental change 
to the variable, we can define that variable as the constant variable. So, this is reason number two. Now, let's move to reason number three. It is useful to define fixed values in the code. To define fixed values in the code, constant variables are quite useful. Let's say we want to define the fixed value for a maximum limit. For this, we can define the constant variable. We can define these type of constant variables in our code. So, with this, we are done with three reasons. I hope these reasons are completely clear to you. So, with this, we learned why we need constant variables and we are done with the third topic also. Now, let's move to the fourth topic where we will now consider some important points about constant variables. The first point is, we will follow uppercase with underscores convention in this course. So, this is the convention we follow for constant variables. The second point is, constant variables must be initialized. It is important to initialize constant variables. I have already mentioned this before. It is not the case that you define the variable first and then you assign value to it. This is also not possible because we know the difference between assignment and initialization. We must initialize the constant variable. We cannot follow the assignment process for a constant variable. For example, here I have defined this constant variable and later I have assigned this value 3.14159. This is not allowed. Here we are doing assignment. We are not initializing this variable. So, this is not allowed in C++. Point number three is initializing a constant variable using a non-constant value is allowed. We can initialize a constant variable with the help of a non-constant value. That is a variable. This is possible in C++. For example, here I have defined this constant variable user age and I have initialized this constant variable with the help of this variable age. This is a variable. It may receive value from the user. We can provide that value with the help of this variable to this constant variable user age. I hope this idea is also completely clear to you. So, with this, we have learned three different points, which are quite important points about constant variables. And this means we are done with the fourth topic also. And we are done with this entire lecture. Okay, friends, this is it for now. Thank you for watching this presentation. I will see you in the next one.